Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Mother Yao and it is a pleasure to see you all. So, looking at the title of this video, you would know that we will be reviewing the brand new Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundations. So, judging on my last Revolution video where I reviewed the brand new Super Size Concealers, you guys wanted to really see me review this foundation. So, this is the video for it and I really hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get into reviewing the foundation, I would like to urge you guys to make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a part of the family, make sure to show your support and hit the like button if you actually enjoyed this video, you found it helpful and you were able to take something from it. And don't forget to leave a comment you can leave whatever you want I live for the comment section Mwah. and let's get into this video so any queen knows that when you are doing your makeup you start off with the eyes so we are going to go into the Revolution Pro Trends Mischief Maker palette and we're going to try and go for something a little bit more natural because I know I do really extravagant eye looks on here and on my Instagram but um, I want more focus to be on the skin on the foundation and how it wears and stuff like that so I'm going to try and get something a little bit more natural out of this not to like boom in your face here to stun here to snatch wigs mans and everything you know so Let's get into it. So I like to use a concealer as my eyeshadow base. You can use anything as long as it is, you know, lighter than your skin tone, which is going to really help the eyeshadows to pop out on the lid. And you know, we're just blending her out, making sure that she is, you know, she's blended nicely. Yeah. So I'm going to dip straight into Shameless and I'm going to be blending this more into my immediate crease. Definitely a decent amount of kickback in the pan there's actually a lot of kickback in the pan which once again I'll say I'm not too fussy about that but I just want a nice colour payoff as a result because the colour payoff isn't good and it's messy in the pan I'm not going to be pleased it doesn't seem to be badly pigmented but now I'm literally just going in and blending out those edges to make sure it is Seamless. To be honest, I feel as though a lot of these shades aren't quite matte yet, they're not quite shimmery. A lot of them are like in between. So, for example, um, the one I just dipped into, Shameless, has like a it's almost like a matte eyeshadow but with flecks of shimmer in there, which I can't say I'm the biggest fan of. I prefer something that's either matte or a shimmer. I'm gonna go into scene like S-C-E-N-E -E, and see how that colour looks. Okay, it actually looks kind of nice. I actually like the way this is blending out on the eye. And I think this is the last shade I'm going to use. I'm going to dip into this nice royal blue with almost like a violet tinge to it. It's called Maverick. And I'm going to pop that on the lid. Pop that on the lid like that. Let's blow that colour out. I'm going to take the um, brush that I used to blend out seam and I'm going to blend that bluey purpley shade into seam to give it more of a seamless effect. And guys, of course I could not resist. I'm going to put a little bit of Hellbound, which is this matte black shade here, and I'm going to pop that in my outer beads. Forcing that in there to really intensify that pigment. Then I'm going to take the previous brush. Perfect, so this is the eye look. I'm literally just going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe away the excess. So now we are going to get into foundation, which is what you came here for. Here we have four different shades of the brand new Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundations. We have number 15, we have 16, and we have 17 and 18. I'm pretty certain I am going to be 18 simply because in any range of foundation I always go for the deepest darkest shade that is available and if anything I'll just brighten up the um, central parts of my face in order to bring brightness back but usually the darkest shade is what works best for me. Wow that is a really 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 big 
applicator. You know, they really got inspired from the applicator on their concealers because literally everybody was loving that applicator. And so I guess they thought they would do it for the foundation as well, which people are absolutely living for. So we are going to do a little bit of a swatch of the four shades. I'm just going to go along here so you guys can get an idea of what they look like on my skin tone. And yeah, I apologize for this little thing here i've been working on it for days to get rid of it but it does not want to go it wants to stay it's here for good let's hope not but it's really trying to claim like residency sis <sighs> anywho let's get into these swatches and see what is good so i'm gonna start off with number 18 okay that's how 18 looks it's definitely a little bit lighter than my skin tone a 19 would have been amazing let's get into 17 okay now that is definitely too light but weirdly enough for some reason looking at my skin i don't know if it's just me but looking at my skin it seems as though it shares a similar undertone to my skin in comparison to the dark one this one looks more like a similar undertone to my skin's natural undertone if that makes any sense despite it being so much lighter so let's get into number 16 now. very rich a little bit more of a orange undertone there so that is number 15 so we have 18 17 16 and 15 of course 18 is going to be the one for me it's closest to my skin tone it's very deep dark and melanated so we are going to get we're going to get into that shade and we're going to apply it over the whole face and see what it is giving literally a lot comes out in literally one go so wow okay. and of course to blend that out i'm going to be using my beauty sponge oh okay it's definitely giving me full coverage vibes. Yeah, it is definitely giving me full coverage vibes. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's giving me a natural sort of beat, but you know, that's all dependent on what you are going for. Yeah, already I would definitely say that if you are looking for a natural beat, this is not the foundation for you. This is definitely covering up any imperfections i may have and it's literally given me a whole new layer of skin it's definitely not a skin like foundation it's very in fact it's almost giving me fenty vibes if you want something that is going to keep you matte this is going to be the one for you so this is how the skin is looking now we're going to go ahead and contour using the tilt foundation stick in the shade 120 absolutely love this shade and I'm going to go around my hairline, just a bit there, uh, maybe a little bit there. Even though the, my hair usually covers it, we're going to pop a little bit there, a little bit along here. This is what's going to help to prevent the foundation from looking too light on me. It's going to help to bring that deep, dark shade back to my skin dab it in and I love the way that the contour is blending out on top of it it's blending out really nicely it's definitely giving me a flawless seamless finish now we're gonna go ahead and cut the cheekbone a little bit so that's what we're working with let's go ahead and highlight it's perfect so I'm gonna go into the revolution super size conceal and define concealer which is the concealer I reviewed in my previous video and I'm gonna go into number 14 and I don't know if you guys would agree with me but I think that this is a perfect color for me I'll be using it from now on I really feel as though to highlight the skin it works so well it works so 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 well and it doesn't crease either and of course we're gonna blend out that concealer with the same sponge do you know what I really do feel as though they are a match made in heaven. They made the foundation and the concealer to go together because the way they blend out together, the ingredients in them must be very similar so they just blend very seamlessly. Sometimes you do get the odd foundation and concealer mix that just doesn't work well together. I'm in love. Perfect. 
Perfect, now that we have that concealer in place, the contour is snatched. I'm gonna go ahead and set my highlight areas as you usually see me do. I'm gonna use my Ben Nice Sienna powder. I do keep it in my Laura Mercier container simply because it's just easier to hold powder in and to dip your sponge in, but this is my Ben Nice Sienna powder, okay? You guys should be familiar with how I set my nose by now. I literally take that powder and take it up towards my forehead, rub away at the sides like so, just to help shape that. And this step is so important because I really feel as though it determines whether you're going to have a snatched nose for the rest of the day or not. And I literally like to press that powder in. And as you can see, Mama is looking so snatched. Look how bright that looks in comparison to this side, it looks tired. This side just looks so smooth and popping. Ebony powder from Ben Nye, just to set the perimeters of my face and make sure that it's all set in place and it does not move. I have not looked this snatched in a very long time and I do think that is partly due to the weather. I'm sorry that you guys have to go through this video. See, in this spot, I'm gonna be dipping into the, is it Cleopatra's Kiss? Yeah, this is the Cleopatra's Kiss from Sleek, now I'm just highlighting with this one here. As you can see, cheekbones are really snatched, already beaming to the gods, goddesses, and above. Perfect, so now we're gonna go into lips. I'm gonna highlight the Cupid's bow with the same Cleopatra's Kiss Sleek palette, and then I'm gonna use Platinized Plum from Sleek also. Perfect, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Iconic London Prep Set Glow to set my whole entire face. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you how it looks when you shake it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna fan all of that in. And lastly, I almost forgot to extend my inner corners, so I'm gonna be taking my white eyeliner from Stargazer, and I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corners. Perfect, so this is the official look. I hope you guys are getting your life. I hope you are feeling snatched. I am definitely feeling snatched. I love how the lip goes with the eye look. We're definitely going for that sort of plum feel and I think it actually looks cute. I think that the sleek metallics feel very nice on the lip. They don't feel too drying. I mean, I'm not against a very dry matte feel because that just lets me know it's gonna stay on for long. But those of you who are scared about that really matte feel on the lip or that, you know, really dry feel, this one doesn't have that. So, you know, it's an all round where you guys will really like this lip. I absolutely love it. You can literally, uh, 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 uh. you can lick your lips and it will stay on. Like, it feels like your actual lip. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a lipstick. So that is quite nice about this. The eyeshadow palette, to summarize, I'm not gonna say it's the most pigmented eyeshadow palette. I would prefer that the mattes be matte and the shimmers be shimmer. I don't want like something in between, which I feel as though the palette had too many of those in between sort of shimmery yet matte, yet shimmery yet matte type shades. You know what I mean? Be one or the other. Um, and the pigment wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best, but it's still a nice, Still a nice palette, especially for those of you who want more of a neutral look. There's even some nice pops of colour in there as well that you can work with. Now to get onto, you know, I really love the concealer. I don't need to say anything else. If you watch my first video reviewing these concealers, they're absolutely amazing. Loved it. And now onto the final course, the foundation. The foundation I will definitely, definitely, definitely say has me feeling snatched. Actually really beautiful. I definitely think that it's um, it's more on the matte side. It's definitely full coverage. It looked like a new layer of skin if that makes sense. It didn't it didn't give me that look as though my natural skin was still poking through, like it's a little bit um, transparent. It's definitely very opaque. It's definitely very full coverage brand new layer of skin. So if you're one of those girls who want something more natural, this probably isn't gonna be the best foundation for you. But if you're more on the full coverage, like cover up any imperfections I may have type of girl, this is gonna be the foundation for you. Um, I've already worn it a couple of times, so I will definitely say that it is long lasting as well. It doesn't break down in any areas, at least on me. My skin is 
um, more normal, but recently it has been a little bit more oily, but I'd say it's still on the more normal sort of spectrum, and it hasn't broken up in any areas on me, and as usual, I usually just get oily around my nose sort of area. So yeah, that's what I've experienced with this foundation. I'm definitely a fan, it's definitely going to be um, my go-to foundation probably from now on. I would, however, have liked if they could come out with a 19 or even a 20 because I still feel as though it did look a little bit light on my skin tone in comparison to some of my other foundations that I like to use. So, that summarises this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it as well. Perfect. So if you're not already a part of the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can see the videos when I upload and you are notified. <gasps> Don't forget to hit the like button as well, which really helps to show me your support. It shows me that you like what I'm doing and it shows YouTube, more importantly, that you like what I'm doing. Because YouTube needs to know that you like it, you know what I mean? If YouTube sees that you like it, it's going to be ranked higher. They're going to push it out to more people to see, to help more people. So, on that note, I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next video.